In this one, we will look at an example of an ordinary differential equation. We'll look at the first order ordinary differential equation. And we'll try to find an exact solution to this ordinary differential equation. So let's take an example here. Three, first derivative of y with respect to x plus 2y is equal to e to the power minus x. And you are given the initial condition of y at 0 to be 5. So how do we go about solving this? Uh, now there are several techniques available. In this uh, segment, I'm just going to concentrate on showing you the classical solution technique, which is just finding the homogeneous part and particular part, and then applying the initial conditions to find the solution. Now, the homogeneous part can be found by writing this equation, this differential equation, in using the operator here. So because D stands for the first derivative operator, so that's how we're going to do. So you are using the operator of 3D plus 2 on Y is equal to e to the power minus X, Y sub 0 equal to 5. So if you are trying to see what the homogeneous part of the solution will be, that will be based on what is the operator part. That will give you the characteristic equation for that. So the characteristic equation is 3M plus 2 equal to 0. So that's how you get the characteristic equation by looking at what the operator is. So you're getting 3m plus 2 equals 0, so m is equal to minus 2 thirds. So since this is the root of the characteristic equation, then in that case the homogeneous part of the solution will be k1 e to the power minus 2 thirds x. That will be the, what the homogeneous part of the solution will look like. Now in order to find the particular part, so how do we find out the particular part of the solution? Well, the particular part depends on the right-hand side, your, or your forcing function, as you may call it. The right-hand side is e to the power minus x. So what you got to do is, in order to be able to choose the particular part, will be to choose the form of the right-hand side, which is e to the power minus x, and all its possible derivatives. And all the possible derivatives of e to the power minus x are e to the power minus x itself. So that means that uh, the only term which you will have in the particular part will be just a e to the power minus x. Because if you take all possible derivatives, you're going to get simply another constant times e to the power minus x, another constant times e to the power minus x. So that's going to all bundle up into one expression, which will look like that. So the particular part is basically dependent on the form of the right-hand side and all its possible derivatives. So since we have the particular part, now we're going to substitute this particular part in our differential equation. We have 3 dyp by dx plus 2 yp is equal to e to the power minus x. So now I'm going to substitute this particular part in there. Be a e to the power minus x plus 2a e to the power minus x equal to e to the power minus x. And this gives you minus 3a e to the power minus x. That's the derivative of that. It will be minus a e to the power minus x plus 2a e to the power minus x equal to e to the power minus x. That gives you minus a e to the power minus x equal to e to the power minus x. So the only way this equation can be resolved is by choosing a equal to minus 1. So the particular part of the solution in this case will be a e to the power minus x, which will be simply minus e to the power minus x. That's what the particular part of the solution will look like. So at this stage, what you do is you already found out the form of the homogeneous part. You just calculated what the particular part of the solution will be, and you will go ahead and add the two. Say y is equal to yh plus yp, and that's k1 e to the power minus 2 thirds x minus e to the power minus x. So the question arises that how do I find out what the value of k1 is? How do I find out what the value of k1 is? And the way you do that is simply uh, substituting the initial condition, y sub 0 is equal to 5, that's k1 e to the power minus 2 thirds 0 minus e to the power minus 0. So you get 5 is equal to k1 minus 1, k1 equal to 6. So that's how you're able to find out what the uh, value of the coefficient of the homogeneous part of the solution is. 
So once you have found k1 equal to 6, you substitute it back in into this equation. You get y is equal to 6 e to the power minus 2 third x minus e to the power minus x. And that's the solution to your first order ordinary differential equation which you just got. As part of your homework, what I would like you to do is what if the forcing function or the right hand side which you had was e to the power was two e to the power minus two third x. So if you would change the problem to the right hand side being two e to the power minus two third x, what you are seeing is that this forcing function which you have here is same as the homogeneous solution. So when you are doing that, what you have to do is you have to choose the next independent solution for your particular part. So I'm going to give you a hint. Your particular part will look like this, ax e to the power minus 2 third x. Because if you choose uh, the form of the right hand side itself and its derivatives to be your particular part of the solution, you can get 0 equal to non-zero number. So you have to choose the next independent solution, which will be a times x e to the power minus 2 third x to be able to solve that problem. So that's your homework, and that's the end of this segment.